How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Bleed Faith Forsaken. So, as I said at the, the end of the last video, I kind of thought that back we so should soon. do the Deluge first. Um, let's see what kind of damage we do here. Okay, we're one shotting those guys. There are uh, quite a few familiar knights around here, um, but I think should be okay. Because there's some stuff to get up top here first. Um, I feel like the I feel like doing this recalibration first makes sense because we can unless, you know, there's something I don't know. Unless there's something I don't know, like you sh we should be able to slot in the greater crystals uh, after after we do this recalibration, uh, because that's the way it was when I defeated uh, the boss of... Dude, I can't see anything. The boss of Yernapolis first before. Camera's all, <laughs> camera's all wonky in here. I think I got that, the, uh, another cape. I don't think I came up here last time. Oh, that's Amulets. Technomancy speed, technomancy penetration, and flux points. Okay. That's something for a technomancy build, I guess. Controller is still vibrating like crazy here. I know there are other enemies around, I don't know if that is why. So we can kind of proceed down here. Camera definitely getting a little wonky here. So yeah, for those that did not watch um, the unlisted video I put up of the suicide run to get the evolved spear, uh, this was the area that we came to, and there was a there are two uh, swimming sections. Yes, that's right. I said swimming sections. Um, one of which I, did, I didn't need to do, and the other one. The other one uh, we're gonna do in this episode probably. Uh, it's actually right over here. <laughs> get him, Emma, get him. Okay, grab this. Crude helmet. Uh, so this is, um, I think. This is where we would end up if we would have jumped down. Which we're gonna wanna go back up top and Really bro. Oh god, here goes the archers. Probably should, uh, should both go back and get that greater crystal that's up there. Because uh, this is, I just want to verify, I think. Yeah, because we would have ran across there. Okay. So we're going to go back up top real quick and we'll just end right back there. a great crystal up top. I want to grab that before I forget because 
I certainly will do that. Uh, there's nothing there. I want to say there is three greater crystals here. And that's that's actually another good reason to do this area now because um, if I remember correctly, um, this uh, this area we get the rest of the crystals. So by doing this area now, when we do our substantial upgrade of uh, once we get access to sliding in the greater crystals, we'll be able to. Uh, have everything at our disposal for that. So I actually think that's a better plan. Provided I am right that this is going to happen. Like I said, this is only the second playthrough, so apologies if it doesn't work out that way. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Oops. That's right, there's a jump there. Go. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this isn't a an official 100% walkthrough. Would have done if that was the case. I would have done a ton more research before even starting this series. So, which I normally I normally do. Thank you guys. Any of you guys that have seen my walkthroughs kind of know that. Try and keep those very... Oh boy. There we go. That went well. Pretty sure there's another one. Patrolling around. Take you. Okay, got you. Yeah, there's another one. He's coming. Get a mimic. Okay. I think there's an archer on the bridge. was a goodie back here. Just make sure before I go running on over there. I think we're good. So if you notice, the, the music changed right as that guy was running up, so I guess the Vermilion, Vermilion Knights have like their own like kind of theme music here. So we're gonna, gonna power armor up. Get over here. You're not going anywhere. Actually, we don't need to clear out this section first. Um, let's, because uh, that's where the second diving section is. So let's uh, let's go back and take care of the, the first little diving section. Actually, should have done that first uh, before clearing out this at the risk of. Uh, risk of dying. So you do with the diving you do have to be careful you um these these guys the the diving guys give you divers lung concoctions. And we got one of our friends here.
a upgrade module, so that's good. Um, that's a shortcut later on. So we are going to put our diverse concoctions on. Later on, we should get a recipe for the advanced ones, too, because later on we're going to need those again. Uh, all right, so let's see if we can do this without dying here. Oop. All right, so typically with the, the swimming, um, and generally in any parts of the game, uh, anytime that you see red lights like this, um, they're kind of guiding, uh, kind of the FromSoft uh, approach here, um, choosing lighting to help you uh, and show you uh, where to go. So, but in the water, these are serving as oxygen sources as well to refill your oxygen. Um, so I definitely, I definitely love that they they use the the FromSoft approach and directing your attention to light sources. Especially down here, but yeah, um, you know, if you guys have been paying attention, there's there's definitely uh, spots in the game where uh, there are red lamps like that, kind of calling your attention to things. Okay, so we have to kind of swim up here. And a piece of loot up here. Okay, so if we get that and swim back down, uh, there is. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. There's another spot to swim out. There's a piece of loot over there. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna make this actually. Should be able to, hopefully. Because <laughs> we can swim right back up. It is kind of slow swimming. Okay. Go up, go up, hurry up, hurry up. This is going to be close. Oof, that was very close. <laughs> Almost died. Uh, so where is my little spot here I'm looking for? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I'm on the other side that I need to be. So I think I want to say it's over here. We need to go. Can't swim any faster, unfortunately. Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. So you see, again, you see the uh, the red light source there. So yeah, no boss in this area, which is kind of good. I mean, when you, you didn't see it down there, but when we get into the, the second diving section or swimming section, whatever you want to call it, there is a, uh, there are giant eels that can grab you and can kind of hurt. I, no, I can't. 
there's an enemy up here, I think. Yeah, he's just wait. If he kills me, I'm not, I'm gonna be upset. He's spaghetti here. This will allow us to open up our shortcut. So this is perfect. Pretty cool area. All the, I enjoy all the areas I think I've said before. Not a single area is like, oh, this area is shitty. Like, the, I enjoy all of this. Which, you know. As much as I love FromSoft, like, you know, I'm sure you guys can relate, there's, you know, going through the game again or something, like, there's always, there's a, I think there's an ambush up here. Yep. <laughs> going through the game again, I'm sure you guys can relate, you can, you know, you're like, oh, you know, going through the game and then you're like, oh, man. I don't want to do this area. This area sucks. Like, you know, I'm sure there's gonna always be something like that in a front soft game that you're gonna feel like. Really? Okay. Um, hello? Okay, that was unfortunate. Quite a few enemies over here, so. Including. I think there's a uh, Vermilion Knight over here. There's a. Uh, kind of a super strong guy over here. Slayer. That's why that dude's so strong. Archaic Axe. Um, I think that's... Uh, take a step back here and look at that. I think that's a pretty cool weapon, I, if I remember correctly. I didn't try it out, but it sounded really cool to use. Uh, powerful Decay and Meteor Strike. Yeah, this causes, like, slams down a, a freaking meteor. Locked on target, random target rain, damage all enemies around it, having a great chance to stun them. Those that resist receive a daze debuff. Yeah, that sounds uh that sounds pretty amazing. Thirty percent chance to do decay, so I feel like on a debuff build, uh that'd be that'd be super good. Which I kinda wanna do a debuff build. Wonder if I could like combine that with a, a technomancer. Be pretty cool. Okay. Is that guy? And that guy. Our damage is pretty solid right now. I mean just imagine how nuts it's gonna be when we put the the greater crystals in our arsenal. Uh, I'm gonna put this here because there's a little jumping to do here. Ooh, just barely made that. That was probably a wise choice. These guys that like to teleport. This we can kick down here. 
I want to say there was another ladder to kick down too. I'll have to look when we go back. Okay, grab this. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Forget about this. Little jumping action here. I got this first try last time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> However, the jump back, I think, was problematic. <laughs> so we'll see here. Oh, no, wait. You can... Oh, no. You can't do that. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Completely botched that. Oh, you can't swim fast here. Silly me. Except now, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to respawn. It's going to take a minute to get back there. Okay. Unfortunately, we had to kill these few enemies again. Out of that mess, come on, bro. Okay. Is that guy? Okay. Let's check it on our time here. Should uh should be doing pretty good here. Ow. Yes. Okay, go. Recipe unlocked. Improved divers lungs. Nice, there we go. Okay. So this is a familiar Vermilion Knight here. He's uh, super beefy. So, power armor up here. So I might need this. Yikes! Oh God. Curious, okay, so you can farm them for their gear too. I thought that was just in the uh, in the final area of the game, but I guess you can get it at any point. 
Okay. So we have cleared out this uh, little optional area here. So that's good. Um, like I said, I thought there was another... Actually, I think it's down the stairs that there's another ladder shortcut, I think. Let's just check that on the way out here. Hello. Goodbye. There. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye to you. Nope, not that. Okay, we got another level. Why can't I open? Oh, there we go. We have four levels, okay. Still debating if we need more agility. Um, does that look like? Do one there, and then uh, two here. Get to an even thirty on damage. Uh, so we are 23, two more levels, and uh, we will be capped. Um, yeah, we're probably going to get... Probably going to try and get to 30 uh, vita or, uh, constitution. Yeah, vitality. <laughs> that grows my Elden Ring brain. Okay. That's another shortcut. Alright, sweet. Oh, hello. I forgot about you. Forgot that you were still alive, honestly. It's like, respawned. Oh, and, uh, you're alive too, and big, big boy, uh, Mr. Big Boy Lacerator is still alive over here. Or alive again, I should say. Uh, so how are we doing? So let's just do this. Just to be on the safe side here. What's up, bro? How did I miss you? What? Oh, okay. that. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, looking at the time, we should probably wrap this up. Um, next part, we will uh, go that other way that we started to go, and uh, clear that out, and do the uh, secondary part of the diving, and uh, that will lead us directly into the recalibration sequence. So, Hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned, more coming at you. Take care.